Hey everybody, this is Paul Welch from Paul Welch on it.blogspot.com or paulwelch.info. And uh, today I'm going to be running through you a, a question that I got from a reader uh, concerning how to validate user input in Java. And uh, it's, it's real quite simple once you get a hang of it, it's not too bad. And uh, I'm just going to be doing a basic program today and showing you how to do it, walking you through step by step about how to do that. And uh, I just came up with the idea of doing a um, guess a number program where the, the user guesses the number and uh, the program generates a random one. And uh, if you don't get it right, um, you know, you, you validate the input of what the user put in. If it's not right, they go again. So I'm just going to walk you through that, and uh, hopefully that'll be a good example of what you need to do here um, to validate user input. And like I said, you know, once you learn how to do it, you can pretty much apply it to any sort of program. But um, as I got Eclipse up again. I talked about this in my last video. Uh, Eclipse is a really, really good IDE. Uh, it's real versatile, real powerful. Um, it pretty much do everything you need. So I'd recommend using that. But like I said in my last one again, you can use whichever one you like. Uh, pretty much the same thing, but as you can see, I got the import package, uh, Java X Swing J Option Pane, so we can gather the user input, and I got my public class and my uh, public static void class just to start out the application. And I just went ahead and pasted in um, variables right here, and I uh, just uh, got int number, which is the uh, number that the computer generates, and uh, int user number, which is the number the user guesses. And I have the two strings, um, one for string number and one for keep going. And that's just if the user wants to keep guessing, they have that option too, which is another um, validation. And here we have the um, just the code where the random number is generated. And as you can see, we have that math.random package right there. Um, just to, you know, I put a real note in here just to generate the random number. And that's all you need to do. Um, I mean, it's just something just to keep the program making different numbers every time, so it's always different, and you can just validate it. I mean, you don't need to do something like this. Uh, you know, validation is really easy. You can just ask a simple question, yes or no, and if the user answers um, whatever you specify, it can validate that way, but I just I thought this would be a better example. All right, I just pasted a good bit of code here. I'm just going to walk you through it. Um, string keep going, I have as set as J option pane, um, just to get the user... Um, input as whether they'd like to play or not um, enter yes or no if you'd like to guess and I have a while loop here and this is not a validation but this is just um, if the user specifies n so they do not want to guess the number uh, I just have the system exiting right here and um, and then again I have another while loop here saying if yes um, what we're gonna go ahead and do is get the user's guess and we have the string string number and we have the J option pane showing input dialog right here and just I'm thinking of a number try to guess a number between 1 and 10 and then up here right here we have just the number that the user enters being converted um, into an integer just so we don't have any um, format errors or discrepancy errors or precision errors or whatnot and then our next step here is you may just to validate the input and this is the most important part because this is what I got the question on so, so the validation here is as you can see um, if the user number equals and if the double equals means equals the number um, you don't keep you know I specified the action performed um, you don't keep going and it just prints out you are a genius that's correct else and then this is what happens if the user is not correct um, you have the action perform just keep going um, that's not correct do you want to guess again then you see if the user the, if the user specifies n uh, the program will just exit but if they specify yes then it will return to the top loop and you guess again and then I just have right here and here the loop being closed system exit and the other loops being closed and um, that's all it is to the program. Um, I think that's a pretty good example of how to validate input. Um, and then, you know, you, you just do an if else loop. Uh, just if um, the validation, I mean, if the user input is not correct, um, it, just, it just gives an error message and goes through. So let's go ahead and run it, make sure it works here. And here we go. Do you want to guess the number? Yes. Now I'll just guess five. 
and see, as you can see, um, since I didn't answer, put it in the right number that the computer generated, um, it wasn't validated, it wouldn't go to the next loop. So it gives me a choice to guess again, I'll say yes, um, wasn't correct again, and so if I just want to give up, I hit N, and that's it. So as you can see, um, that's a pretty good way to test validation, uh, it's a pretty good example, um, and you can use that in a whole variety of uh, different kind of programs and whatnot, a whole bunch of different situations. And uh, this is a pretty useful example, and I thought this would be a good way to show you all. But uh, thanks for the questions. Keep them coming. And uh, please check my blog at paulwelchonit.blogspot.com or paulwelchoninfo. And uh, I have a lot of videos like this coming, and uh, I answer all sorts of y'all's questions about pretty much anything IT-related. So keep them coming, and uh, keep reading. Thanks.